hello everyone in this brief talk i'm gonna present uh, our work on twin regularization for online speech recognition that we have recently presented at interspeech 2008 well there are actually two types of speech recognition online speech recognition and offline speech recognition Offline speech recognition is typically applied when we would like uh, to transcribe something offline, like uh, a YouTube video or something like that. In this situation, uh, you don't have any real-time constraint and you can apply heavy algorithm to a uh, process your, your input signal and you can even process your input signal multiple times because you don't have any uh, real-time constraint. Um, in this work, we address another modality which is called online speech recognition. In this modality, it's typically used when there's an interaction with a user. And in these situations, typically uh, we don't want uh, to introduce latency and uh, so we actually have real-time constraints that makes our problem uh, very 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 challenging but very very important because this is the modality that we normally use uh, when uh, um, talking to some devices like amazon echo google home series and similar devices well a popular approach to process speech uh, for speech recognition is to use recurrent neural networks in recurrent neural networks we have our input features we process our input features with one or more hidden layer we estimate uh, some posterior probabilities and then we compute a loss function from which we can back propagate a gradient a recurrent neural network we replicate this structure at every time time step and um, in particular at at this time time step n um, the hidden state depends on uh, all the previous uh, elements of the sequence these are unidirectional rnn but our in speech recognition are very popular also bidirectional rnn which are very similar to this, but they scan the um, speech sequence to two times, one from the beginning to the end, and the other from the end to the beginning. They concatenate the states, and they are uh, in this way able to uh, improve the performance because the predictions are based on the full sequence rather than only on a part of the sequence. Um, the later modality can be used for offline speech recognition, but not for online speech recognition. Because for online speech recognition, we don't have access to the future. Why? Because we would like to start processing our sequence while acquiring the sequence itself in order to avoid latency. So for online speech recognition, only unidirectional recurrent neural networks can be used. So uh, in this work, um, we um, propose an idea, which is the following. If we don't have access to the future, why don't we try to predict it? And we know very well that neural networks are very good in predicting the future. So, uh, another important remark is that the um, online constraint actually arises only during tests. During training, we can have access to the full sequence. So, what we can do to implement this idea? Well, there are actually many ways to implement this basic idea. What we have tried to do in this work is to encourage the forward representation to be predictable about the future by introducing a regularization term. If you take a look here, uh, our regularization term uh, minimizes the distance between 
a forward representation and backward representations. Remember, at train time, you can have forward and backward representations so you can compute this regularization term, while at test time, you don't need any more this regularization term and you can only rely on the forward states. So here, the idea is to encourage the forward states, the forward representation, uh, to be as close as possible to concurrent backward states. And in this way, we implicitly ask the um, forward representation to be predictable about the future. Okay, let me now show you some of the results that we have obtained. Uh, in particular, if you are interested to, into the full set of results, you can read our paper that you can find on uh, Archive. Here we report uh, some uh, results, try to compare uh, a unidirectional RNN and a twin regularized RNN on several uh, speech recognition tasks like TMIT, CHIME uh, and LIB speech. Here uh, we are using uh, uh, gated recurrent units as RNN. And the results reported in terms of word and rates for CHIME and LIBRE speech, while our uh, phoneme and rates for TMIT. Okay, so uh, one interesting aspect is that if you compare a standard RNN and a twin regularized RNN, you always see a small performance improvement, making a very interesting this approach. Uh, in particular, even if the improvement is not always huge, what makes particularly interesting this technique is that we don't have any additional computation at test time. So, in other words, the, the improvement you have is obtained for free because you don't have to add any additional computation at test time. So, this uh, approach can be, for this reason, very um, interesting, very of, of broad practical interest, especially when we have to do online speech recognition in small foot footprint devices like smartphones, tablets, or uh, something like that. Okay, that's all. Thank you very much for your attention.